For this video, we're going to take a step into the exciting world of 3D. Now I'll remind you that 3D features are only available in Photoshop CS5 Extended. If you purchase the standard shipping version, you won't have these options. And to make it a little bit easier for us, we have our workspace switcher here. I can stretch it if my resolution is high enough, but if it isn't, I can click these double-sided arrows and choose 3D so you can see the quickest ways to create and edit your 3D effects. With 3D effects, I'm going to choose an image, and I've got this one that I want to make look like it's casting on a table, like a postcard or a sheet of paper in 3D space. So I'll double click to open it up, I'll collapse mini bridge, and in the 3D panel, you'll notice create new 3D object from selected layers. It's just a flat, standard JPEG image, and I do want a 3D postcard. So all I do is click create. Once I've clicked Create, you'll notice it applied a texture, so as I rotate it in 3D space, it picks up the proper lighting. And I'll use my 3D Object Rotate tool, or the letter K, to kick this object around on the stage. You can manipulate it a couple ways. I can click and drag on the image, and I love this. I can flip it inverse, I can go up and down, left and right, any direction I see fit. So now I've got it like it's laying back on a table, casting with perspective. This area also lets you manipulate it. I can make it bigger or smaller by dragging the yellow cube. I could change the direction by grabbing the green. I can grab the red and stretch it horizontally, or the blue and rotate it up or down. I find grabbing the object itself is very easy, but if you want to limit the movement in one direction, this is immensely helpful. So now I want to make sure I don't cut off the whole image. You'll see in this corner, in this corner, I'm missing some. And to be safe, I'll hit Control minus or Command minus to zoom out. And I'm going to show a little known feature of the Crop tool. So when I click the Crop tool, I'll click and drag over the entire image. Then I'll pull down and to the right, estimating visually how much more room I need. I'll give it a little bit more on the left, and I can take some away from the top. When I press Return or Enter, I've magically opened that up to reveal all the... <laughs>